I remember coming home from middle school and my favorite snack was a glass of milk and Oreo cookies. Mm, I loved it. So I thought, why not use them and jumper cables to prove that your digital camera is not sensitive to light, show you how ISO actually works, why digital noise appears in your image, and how to never fear using high ISOs like 25,600 ever again. All right, so the biggest misconception about ISO is about how your digital camera is sensitive to light, but it's not, and you'll learn why in a moment. Now, the confusion comes from when ISO was carried over into our digital world from film, but they're only similar in two ways. One is the higher the ISO, the brighter your image, and I'll explain the other similarity in a moment. Now, with film, a gelatin emulsion is applied to a plastic strip with tiny grains of silver halide crystals mixed in, and I have some Oreo cookies here that are going to represent those crystals and the grain and noise that we're going to explore in this video. Now, when your film is exposed to light, these crystals have a chemical reaction that burns the image into the film. Now, the size of those crystals are going to determine the sensitivity of the film, and the bigger the crystals, the more sensitive the film becomes. But the crystals themselves are the grain that you see, and when using a more sensitive film, since the crystals are bigger, that means so is the grain. Now, ISO was never related to the camera body, but instead to the film. Now this all changed with digital cameras since film was replaced with electronic sensors and your digital camera is much more complex than film. Hence the milk, the cookies and the jumper cables. Oh my, hopefully I don't get electrocuted. All right. Now for your digital camera, we have a sensor that is made up of millions of teeny tiny transistors with a photodiode. Now the photodiode represents one pixel that stores the energy or the light it receives when you open the shutter and our cup is going to represent one pixel. Now, as you fill up the cup with light or milk in this case, that is going to determine the exposure based on how much the pixel is full. So to keep things simple, let's say a full glass of milk represents a well exposed image and anything less will mean that your image is under exposed. So for this photo trip, I started off with a bright sunny day and was shooting at ISO 200. Then around an hour before sunset, some storm clouds rolled in, and this is what I saw with ISO 200. So the light intensity was not as strong, and I only filled the pixel about a quarter of the way, and the result was an underexposed image. Now, since I couldn't change the aperture or shutter speed for the image I wanted to create, I increased the ISO to make the available light brighter, which required ISO 1600. But that doesn't mean your sensor is sensitive, even though it made the light brighter. So how does your digital camera make the available light brighter if it's not sensitive? I'm glad you asked. Now, earlier I mentioned that your pixel stores the energy or the light inside of it. Now, to fill the pixel with light, your digital camera has mini jumper cables or transmitters attached to each pixel. So let's go ahead and do that. And these are controlled by the ISO setting. So when you increase the ISO, it begins to send a volt through the jumper cables and it amplifies the light. And the higher the ISO, the more it amplifies and begins to fill up that pixel until you have the proper exposure. Now, that's the good news. Higher ISOs equal more light. But the bad news is digital noise becomes visible 
even more so when you go higher on your ISOs. Now, I didn't say that ISO creates noise. It only makes it more visible. Confused? Well, the truth is digital noise is like grain in film. It's always there. Even at ISO 100, it's visible. And the reason why is due to several factors that cause the digital noise to naturally be present at all times. Okay, so here's an image I shot at ISO 100 and teeny tiny grainy specks of gray are visible. That's the digital noise. But why is it more noticeable at higher ISOs? Well, since the noise is already there, when you amplify the light, the noise is amplified too, which results in the noise getting larger. Now, is it possible to minimize or completely get rid of the noise? Let's find out. Now, one question I get asked is, could you shoot at ISO 100 all the time to minimize the noise and just fix the exposure and post? Well, I created two images of the scene and the well-exposed image was shot at ISO 6400 and there's a lot of digital noise. Now, the other image was shot at ISO 100 and if we double that a few times to get to 6400, that would be 100 to 200 to 400 to 800, 1600, 3200, 6400. So we are six stops underexposed. So in Lightroom, the maximum exposure I can do is five stops. So I created a mask to push the exposure up another stop. And now the exposures match for both images. And if we take a closer look, it's obvious ISO 100 made the digital noise worse. So how can you get rid of the digital noise like I did for this image and make it sharper? Well, watch this video next and I'll share my secret weapon for getting clean and sharp images with ISOs as high as 25,600.